hello friends so today i'm gonna show you guys how you can repair your broken multimeter so this is an uh, old uh, multimeter uh, and uh, this is very commonly used one and uh, the model number is dt 830d digital multimeter and uh, so uh, when you uh, disassemble in this multimeter first you have to remove two screws in here and here so after removing the screws you can take the back cover out like this first lift the lift from the bottom and slide it backwards okay like this lift from the bottom and and uh, you have to make sure that uh, these screws are loosened okay okay like this so i have already repaired this one uh, so you can clearly see the places that i have repaired uh, because you can see uh, originally all the components are smd components that means surfa surface mount device components but now you can see some common resistors are uh, soldered to this circuit so those are the components that i have soldered to repair this multimeter so uh, the problem that i had was a uh, uh, uh this is i get this multimeter from uh, my uh, one of my relations so he didn't know how to use this and he accidentally uh, put the uh, probes of this multimeter into a wall socket to check the ac voltage and <laughs> due to that this uh, circuit uh, burned out and he uh, gave this to me and said that uh, this is not working if you can fix it or uh, either you can keep it so i uh, disassemble this thing and check and i found out that uh, some resistors are burned out and i just replace those things so uh, there's a thing that you have to know when you are repairing and this kind of uh, smd uh, mounted circuit that is uh, you i think you can see here there are uh, different numbers on this these components okay so uh, let let's consider this uh, this smd one you can see the smd resistor Oh, and I have to say, these are the resistors, okay? These are resistors. Resistors, resistors. So, these are the ones that I have replaced with normal resistors. So, in here, I hope you can see. Okay, there are numbers on the SMD resistors. So, let's consider this. I hope you can see here okay you can see here it's in the other side now let's rotate this thing okay here the number is nine zero zero one uh, that means if you consider that uh, nine zero zero one in SMD resistor this means first you have to consider first three digits and the last digit separately that means uh, in this kind of number you have to first separate this number from the last digit so 
no matter there are let's think something like this also if this the case you have to separate this from the last digit so after separating this way you can write this in this way uh, the you have to write the left side as it is then you have to uh, write uh, zeros uh, equal to this number so this is one so you have to uh, sorry uh, you have to uh, write one zero so here also first uh, write the left side as it is then the right side you have to write one zero uh, if this is the case then as before first write the left side then the right side there are zero number of zeros that means there are no zeros so in here the value is 9000 in here the value is 900 in here the value is also 900 i hope you understand this okay so uh, this is the way you can find the resistance value equivalent to this number okay and uh, i saw that there are some other indications here also okay in here you can see that here you see 1 r 0 0 so if there is something called 1 r 0 0 that means this r represents the uh, uh, what do you call that uh, point uh, point symbol so uh, this means one point zero zero that means one ohm okay so here this is 900 ohms this is also 900 ohms this is 9000 ohms okay i hope this is clear to you so the top one is 9000 this is 900 then this is also 900 and if there's something like this then you have to write it as one r means dot and two zeros that means one ohm. so this is the way you can find the resistor values of the smd components so as it is what you have to do is read the numbers on the smd resistor and just buy a normal resistor from the electronic shop equivalent to that resistance value uh, when finding the resistance value you have to follow this procedure first we have to write the code and then you have to convert it to the resistance value okay so likewise when you get the equivalent resistors you just have to solve into those uh, necessary places and uh, if you uh, uh, use a multimeter you can check and if, if you put the multimeter into a, a resistor scale and check the resistance uh, in the both end, ends of the assembly resistor you can find what are the working resistors and what are the non-working resistors in that way you can find what are the burnout resistors and if not you can use this uh, uh, remedy kind of method i mean uh, usually when when a smd resistor is burning burn out you can find uh, you you can't read this number because there will be a dot in the middle of the smd resistor that means that's the place where resistor popped out uh, when the burning occurs uh, this generally uh, makes a very tiny explosion so due to that there's a little dot on the top of the assembly resistor and you can't read this number and uh, if you use a torch or uh, some kind of zoom zooming device like the mobile phone you can easily find that burnout mark on the 
SMD resistor and you can replace those resistors using this kind of general resistors so in that way you can repair this kind of multimeter and it's very simple and i hope you learn something from this video and that's it for today guys thank you for watching this video and let's meet with another good video